Hello, my name is Ashley Lewick, owner of Momentum Wellness. I'm a certified personal trainer and nutrition counselor. I've been putting together these little five-minute health nutrition educational videos just kind of in hopes to, I don't know, teach a little bit, do my part in this whole corona situation. Maybe, you know, you'll learn something. So today I'm going to go over a little bit um, about low calorie and how maybe long term that's not the best solution in terms of losing weight and becoming healthier and it might work for you I'm not here to offend anyone that's great there are different things that work for different people I'm not writing anything off I just personally when I work with my clients it's not the first thing I jump into um, reason being is because a it's pretty miserable counting every calorie you put in your body b it's not very precise as in being going back to the gut, say somebody who eats a lot of, say someone eats a lot of donuts, if they eat a donut, they're going to get more calories and sugar out of the donut than my body would because I don't really eat donuts very often. Um, so my body would not break it down the same your body would. So just from person to person, and it goes for anything. Uh, I just picked on donuts because it kind of sounds great right now, but anyway, <laughs> um, so it's going to have a different calorie count for every person because you only absorb nutrients that your body can break down. So my body probably doesn't know how to break down a donut very well. I'm not going to get as much out of it as somebody else would. Um, so for me, it's going to have fewer calories than it is for somebody who eats them all the time. So that's kind of the first thing. It's not very accurate. Well, and it's miserable to sit and count and read and measure everything, at least I think so. Second off, um, one of the biggest things people come to me with um, when I do nutrition counseling with them is I'll always ask, do you feel like you have enough energy to make it through the day? And I would say 9 out of 10 people say no. And then I ask what they're doing with their nutrition and they um, say, well, I only eat so many calories and um, you know, so they count calories and they pay attention to calories a lot. Well, we have to remember that calorie is literally a, a measurement, a form of energy. Um, just like a watt is for computers. I know nothing about technology, but kind of get what I'm saying. So when people say they're eating restricted calories or eating fewer calories, you're, you're really basically saying you're eating less energy. And then they're wondering why they don't have enough energy to make it through the day. Well, you just told me right there you're eating less energy. So that's kind of second thing to keep in mind. Um, so if you are really tired throughout the day, maybe you're not eating enough. Third, the type of calorie or food that you're getting these calories from is the world of difference. I say all the time that your hormones are going to have everything to do with your weight um, and inflammation is going to have everything to do with your weight. We'll probably get into those in other videos. I could probably make thousands of these videos, but we'll start with, we'll start here. So, um, where was I? Oh, types of calories. So if you're going to eat a hundred calories in Oreos, or you're going to eat a hundred calories in broccoli, they're both going to do very, 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 very different things in your body. One's obviously going to help and heal. The other is going to hurt and probably make you gain weight. Um, I, when I do nutrition with my people, I don't even have them think about calories at all. I have them think of the types of food we're eating. That's the first switch I make. Um, looking at all of your food labels, if something says it's low calorie, if something has to tell you that, it's probably not healthy. Um, being they probably just use more fake chemicals and your body cannot break down chemicals, you guys. Um, we are only meant to input what our body can run off of. Just like you could not put, um, honestly, you couldn't put rocks in a car's gas tank and expect it to go. That's what we're doing when we're not eating things that our body runs off of. So that's just kind of my little short on why cutting calories doesn't always work. 
especially long term. In the beginning, it might, but as your body and hormones start ramping up and getting used to what's happening, it's not going to end very well. And then we run into problems like I was talking about before with leaky gut and autoimmune diseases because your body starts attacking because it has no idea what you're putting in it. So a lot of people come, they're like, oh, I only eat 1,200 calories a day. If you're eating 1,200 calories a day of things that aren't nutritionally benefiting you, um, your body's not going to run very well and you are going to be tired. So a little plug on my nutrition program, Velocity. Um, we, it really just works on switching out um, into healthy things, and I help you with that. And kind of really realizing first and kind of getting to know a nutrition label and what's good, what's bad. So um, if you have any questions about that, let me know. Again, I wasn't here to offend anyone. You may use counting calories. It may work great for you. Uh, just know that you also have to make sure you're getting your nutrients as well. So thank you. That was my little short on that. As always, comment if you have a topic for the next one. Otherwise, I just kind of think of one on my own. So if you want to know anything, let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye. Have a great rest of your day.